Careers in the geosciences are only going to increase, especially as we increase our global awareness of the needs for water and mineral resources. As we shift to more electric power, the need for things like lithium and rare earth elements is only going to expand possibly tenfold. There's a critical need in order to find new mineral resources in order to support the production of circuits and batteries. And with that, we're also going to need to be paying attention to protecting the environment as we extract some of those resources. One of the key aspects of research in our program is that we don't stay in our disciplinary lanes. For us, that means going beyond traditional geology or traditional engineering uh, into other disciplines that could include ecology or archaeology or satellite technology. Geochronology is the study of how old a rock is, basically it's age dating of either a rock or a geologic event. And depending on what you're age dating, the age of a rock can tell you a lot about where resources might be able to be found. So knowing the general age ranges that you have in certain areas can help miners and prospectors and economic geologists to have a good idea of can I find what I'm looking for in a certain region. One of the projects that we're looking at right now is the orientation of the Mississippi River. It used to flow like the Nile River going from the south to the north, but sometime in the Cretaceous it switched orientations and is running basically in the current orientation from the north towards the south. So we're looking at exactly when that switch occurred because the when will give us a much better idea about the how. I collaborate a lot within the department as well as outside of the department. With my sedimentary research, I collaborate a lot with Dr. Brian Platt. So I look at the dating side of things. I will date the rocks and the minerals that we can find within the sediments, both for my projects and for his. And he'll do all of the sedimentary descriptions of the rocks that we're looking at. And between the two of those, we can have a really good story about where these rocks came from and also when they were deposited where they came. I work with sedimentary rocks in sedimentary basins, and sedimentary rocks are notoriously difficult to date. And here in the Department of Geology and Geological Engineering, we have Dr. Jennifer Gifford, who is our geochronologist, who can take some elements of these sediments, specifically detrital zircons, and zap them with a laser and get dates from them that can help us figure out the ages of the sedimentary units that we're looking at and also look at the provenance or the source area where these sediments came from. Did they come from one basin? Did they come from several basins and get mixed together? You know, we can tease out those signals by working together collaboratively. I'm one of the primary instructors for one of the two field camps. We have two in our department. One of them is a sophomore level, the other one is a junior senior level. The field camp that I teach is a combination of field methods where we teach a lot of how to work in the field and then an actual field camp. We primarily start out with teaching the students how to measure things in the field low tech. So it's pacing something out, using a compass to orient things. And then we do a lot of sedimentary rock description because Oklahoma is dominated by sedimentary rocks. And then one of the last projects that we do, we sort of combine everything together where they are mapping tilted and folded rock layers as well as mapping out a couple of different faults. So when I was applying to my graduate studies, one thing that I looked into was the faculty members and the facilities available with the universities. So when I started looking at all me's that I realized that there's a lot of faculty members who can guide me through different subject areas, I mean like different sub areas in geology. And also that I realized there are a lot of facilities here available for the students at all me's. One of the things we always emphasize here in the department is preparing students for what they will face upon graduation, giving them the basic fundamental knowledge that is needed and then also making sure that we are providing them with the current cutting edge tools to look towards the future to be able to solve those problems that they will face when they graduate. Students that are coming to our program, in addition to working with leading researchers, are also developing a strong sense of community, an alumni network, and all at a destination location. 
Oxford is a beautiful town, the campus is beautiful, and there's an vibrant arts culture here. 